If you'd like to be prepared and know pretty much everything that's going to happen in a pre-employment seafarer's medical, please continue watching. If you think that knowing everything may discourage you from applying, then maybe you might not want to watch. I'm Christina Seaton and welcome to Connection Carousel. <music>
it seemed pretty serious. I originally didn't want to claim that years ago I was on a prescribed antidepressant because I wasn't on them very long, maybe one or two months, and to me it wasn't actually a big deal. I decided on my own I didn't want to take the medication anymore and I just stopped. After reading the whole part where I had to sign, I decided that I had to be honest. I, I couldn't lie, so I wrote down exactly what it was. Then the first thing that I asked when I went into the doctor's office was, is the fact that I was on an antidepressant going to cause me to not be able to work on a ship? I just figured we didn't really need to continue if it was going to be a determining factor. He told me that I should just get a doctor's note from the prescribing doctor saying that I'm not taking the medication now and that I was only on it for a short amount of time. He did say that I may not even be asked about it, but it's good to have just in case. The doctor went over all of my paperwork with me and he explained what it was that we were going to be doing in the physical and it was pretty much what I had already read and signed in agreement to on the papers that I did out front. Two things that he specifically went over were a breast exam and a rectal exam. A quick look, non-invasive, just to check for hemorrhoids. This one I was surprised about. I went into the room for my exam and he checked out most things while I was fully dressed. Then he got me to do a balance test, stand on one leg, close my eyes for a few seconds, grip test, squeezing his hands, a strength test just by pushing and pulling on his arms. He checked my blood pressure, heart, lungs. I had to get undressed after that, um, everything except my underwear, unless I felt okay having it off, which is really the best way to go in my opinion because it made the rectal check way faster, I think. I put the robe on and laid down and at this point he went and got the nurse to be in the room for this part. He checked my breasts and then told me to roll over to the wall, bring my knees up to my chest and he quickly checked and then it was done. Seriously was easy peasy, very quick, not a big deal. And then I went back into the waiting room. A nurse eventually called me in to another room to take my blood. Four vials were taken and the things they could be checking for and most likely are would be my full blood count, urea, electrolytes, HIV tests, sexually transmitted infections, hepatitis screening, ABC, um, liver function, cholesterol, triglycerides, plus my blood sugar level. After that, I went back into the waiting room and was called in by someone else for a urine drug test. I had to go into one room, wash my hands with him there. Then I went into a bathroom, opened up a cupboard door that he also had open on the other side in the room that I was just in. We spoke through the open window area and he told me not to wash or flush when I was done and to knock when I was finished. So we both closed the cupboard doors, I peed, I knocked, both opened the doors and I was standing there by the toilet talking to him through this window until he did what he had to do with the urine. He put them into two different containers, put labels on them, and I had to initial it. I think that they also check for glucose, blood, pro and proteins, which are indications of diabetes and kidney problems. Plus, I believe they do a pregnancy test, which I don't have to worry about that. He told me to come back into the other room. I washed and we were finished there. I went back to the waiting room. I was then called by someone new to go into a different room to go over my vaccinations. I showed him the paperwork for what I had and he said it was fine and that I didn't need anything else. But if I did need any vaccines, they would do it right there. Once again, to the waiting room. Then into another room with a new person where I was weighed and my height was recorded. Then I had a vision test and one of them was for color blindness reading numbers in a book with colors and then the other one I had to look through something and tell them what I saw on the slides. There were certain things in each square that I had to say where it was in the square and as it got progressively slower, uh, smaller. And I did the whole test with my glasses off and then I did the whole test again with my glasses on. He also checked my peripheral vision and, but I just had to say which side I saw the lights flashing on. Then I went into a little booth to get my hearing checked. I had to put on headphones and hold the little clicker. Every time I heard something, I had to click it with my thumb and basically it was just beeping in different tones, getting more and more faint. And then back to the waiting room. I was called up by the receptionist and at this point I was told I had to go down the street to get an x-ray. And this is when I had to pay before I left, which also included the cost of the x-ray. 
I was guessing it would come to about $200 because my BC Medical wouldn't cover it and I was way off. It actually came to $923.60 Canadian, but it's all good because Royal Caribbean does reimburse for medicals. I then went down the street to get my x-ray, which was a chest x-ray. I was told to take off my necklace and everything above the waist. I put on the robe, went in the other room, and it was very quick. I had to put my chest up against the board, push my shoulders against it, hands on my waist, chin up over the board. He took the image and then I was done. I decided to ask here what, what the um, x-ray was for, what they were checking, and I was told that it was for tuberculosis. Apparently, doing an x-ray to find out if someone has tuberculosis is much, a much better result than a blood test. Altogether, excluding travel time to the x-ray place, it took three hours. This will vary for everyone, of course, depending on the wait time between each exam, plus each medical facility will probably do things different. I will be sharing my results when I get them. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I hope you do subscribe and if you haven't already. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Take care and I will see you in the next video.